Recently, I went on a Disney cruise. It's a five night cruise from San Diego to Cabo. And the one thing that my wife asked me was, should we order the digital photo package? Because it was like a 15% off if we order it before the uh, cruise departure. So I have four kids and my wife loves photos. And it wouldn't be easy to take photos ourselves. So I just said, let's, let's uh, pay for the package. It was around, uh, I think, two two twenty nine for all the digital prints, and so on Disney's website you won't see too much about pricing. It's not until I think once you pay for the cruise, uh, you'll receive some information about the photo packages. Probably, my wife handled most of the stuff. I, I just. Uh, was a part of the decision-making process. And so here are some of the photos we took. This is for evenings and this is during the day. Um, so you have about four opportunities to take photos. During the day on deck four, you can take cast member photos. And, and here's uh, the photographer just decided to take one picture of uh, one of our kids. Uh, the, uh, there's deck four as well as uh, on the uh, pool area deck, you can take cast member uh, photos too. Uh, you can see that you're at a distance from the cast member, probably like three to four feet away. Uh, sometimes closer, depending on how comfortable the cast member feels. Um, you can see over here, uh, this one is one of the main photos that happens, uh, I guess, during lunch, maybe. And this was, uh, I forgot who that is. <laughs> But you can take some good photos. Um, this again is deck four. And we took it with minis always around. Um, one of the things that we were a bit disappointed about was this uh, diversity, not diversity, but just the different cast members that were available. I think there was only like maybe seven or eight cast members that we saw during our whole trip. There was Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and maybe a few more as well as some Marvel characters like Spider-Man, Thor, and maybe another person. So it wasn't a huge uh, uh, variety. That's the word I'm looking for. Because you can see, I, I took a ton of pictures with the mini. Here's one of Spider-Man. Uh, so currently in March 20, 2022, I think because of the COVID restrictions, it, it, these photos aren't as great as when you could just take pictures alongside the Disney cast member. It's just kind of strange. It's like they're a few feet away. Uh, the Spider-Man one looks a little better since they're, my kids are all lined up like that. Um, sometimes you don't have to even take a picture with cast members. Uh, I'd suggest uh, making a, a good um, relationship with photographers because you kind of see them over and over again. And if they get to know you, they'll take more pictures than just the minimum two pictures at a station. So like for this Spider-Man uh, photo session, they took like five or six photos. And that's pretty great because they can do different poses. Um, like over here, there's Chippendales. Uh, so just this is a sample of some photos that you can take. So you can take it with the cast members on deck four or outside on the pool area deck throughout the day. Um, in the evening, before and after dinner, they have backdrop photos similar to your typical Disney cruise, I mean, typical cruise ship liner stuff. So here's one, your typical out at the sea. This one was a strange one. They, they had no back, they had a backdrop, it was just white. I thought they were gonna fill it in with something, but they didn't. This is some old style photo. Uh, here's in front of the uh, aerial statue. And again, uh, we ended up taking around 122 photos. Uh, you know, in hindsight, I probably would have taken more. Uh, just because uh, now I know w where to go and what to do. Uh, I, You know, if you didn't like the photos that were taken during your session, I mean, you just go in line for like these backdrop photos and you could come back later and do the same backdrop photos. And so you could end up, you know, with like 10 
or 20 photos of just this backdrop. Um, so uh, in the evenings you can do the backdrop or when you're, what do you call it, having dinner, a photographer will come up to you ask you if you want to take family photos and stuff. So here's me during pirate night and wear my lucky uh, Halloween jack-o'-lantern t-shirt. Um, so yeah, making get, get good relationships if you're going to decide to get the photo package because you can take a bunch of photos. And they're really nice uh, photographers. Um, so finally, what I'm going to mention is if for me, I thought it was worth it. 122 pictures, 200, about $230. So it came out to be $2 a photo. And in hindsight, you know, knowing now, I'd probably take even more pictures and get my money's worth. Um, but if you don't want to pay for the money and you're just kind of scared about all the pricing and it's confusing like I was, uh, supposedly on this blog, you can still ask the photographers to take photos for you with your own personal camera or phone. Uh, I'm not sure if it's true, you know, during COVID season, but I remember years ago, I'm talking about like over 10 years ago, we went on the Disney Wonder and I, we'd asked the photographer to take pictures with our camera and they did. So I'm not, I can't think that they've changed the gu guidelines or photos only unless it's because of COVID reasons. So, um, so if you like photos and you have a big family i do uh i do i thought it was worth it sorry <laughs> uh and so that's just where i'm coming from and you saw the quality of photos it's just uh, pretty good not excellent but uh hopefully this is helpful who knows i don't know <laughs>